Well, it's uh, another day. I'm a year older today, or yes, yesterday actually. Um, I'm going to be working on this today because I'm going to the foundry tomorrow morning. So I got some ideas in my brain as to what I'm going to be uh, sculpting in the near future, and uh, uh, it just has to formulate a little bit more in my my mind. I'm going to spend today just basically going over uh, the clay of this horse piece, filling in little holes that need to be filled in because uh, if I order a bronze of this, it'll cut down the cost greatly if they don't have to do a lot of uh, after uh, molding. From what I've read, uh, bronze casting goes back 5,000 years. I actually, at one point in Tahoe, when I lived in Tahoe, Lake Tahoe, California, I uh, there was a store at the get at the uh, mall where my the gallery was that was showing my work, and it was a store that sold antiquities, ancient uh, items, and there was a a uh, sword, a Sumerian sword, I think it was. It was a, it was a bronze sword that dated it back 3,000 years. And it was just an amazingly delicate casting. I just can imagine what it was like to make it. But to hold that sword in my hand was just unreal. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm not going to shoot all of this because, quite honestly, It'll be like watching water drip off a duck's back. It'll be boring. But I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to video uh, the uh, coloring of that bronze. It's the, the bronze is called the Con Unconquered, and it's sat in clay for quite a while. I'm at least four or five years, I think. I could be wrong, but uh, it seems like it had been that long. And so, it's going to be nice to have that in bronze, finally. I've got several clays in my studio here, in my house, that uh, have yet to be cast. And it'll be nice to get them cast someday. So, until tomorrow, everybody, I'll say, hasta mañana. Is it hasta mañana? <laughs> I'll say goodnight. as I hunt little holes. I'm not going to smooth this clay out. Uh, it's going to stay pretty much rough. And that's because I'm... I just like the uh, roughness. It, it sort of... It sort of uh, promotes uh, movement, uh, roughness, and you know, unfinished. It's sort of like a uh, blurry picture of a running horse or a person. And I'm doing is hitting the clay with a torch that should give a little bit of a shiny surface to the uh, bronze, the finished bronze. Just melting the clay a little bit on the surface to get just give it a different kind of texture basically don't want to overdo it you don't want to melt what little detail there is in this I've called this piece Thundering Hoofs. I kind of like that title. I can just imagine the sound of 
hundreds of horses stampeding. Well, good night everybody. I'm just going to continue hitting this with a flame. I've got uh, a black cloth set down on my sculpting stand so that I can take a good photograph. I just got to charge up the batteries of my Canon camera so that I can. haven't used the camera for a long time, so it needs to be charged up. Good night everybody. All right, good night, everybody. That's uh, Thundering Hoofs. Let's see how long this is. Just 12 inches long and 7 high. And how wide? About 3 and a half, 4 inches wide. Not bad. Not bad for a month's work or a couple months work. Bye. Get on it, everybody. thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right see you next time